Yo, what's good with y'all, gang? And I'm gonna start this video off by apologizing for such a long wait in between videos, man. It really ain't been much going on or much for me to talk about in the GTA community that's been worthwhile, brother. But we got some stuff to talk about, man. And I wanna go ahead and start off by bringing up a couple of these topics before we get into the main dish. And the first thing I wanna talk about is something that I think everybody in the community is, is talking about, not even just in just the GTA community, but just in like life period man is Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul at the time of me recording this right now it's about an hour and 30 minutes before we get into the actual fight itself and uh I'm gonna just go ahead and tell y'all right now I feel like Tyson go oh I hate this game a whole lot, like more than y'all will ever understand for real. But yeah, man, the Mike Tyson, Jake Paul fight supposed to be happening literally like a couple of hours of me recording this video. Maybe by the time this video go up, it'll been happen, or I had this video up right before it happened, depending on how fast I can edit it, get it rendered and uploaded and stuff. But we got that going on again. Y'all leave in the comment section down below who y'all think gonna win. Me personally, I'm gonna go Mike, but at the end of the day, I think um, Jake Paul got a good chance to win just because of the simple point of fact that for one, age different. Mike Tyson, he an older cat. Not saying that the older cats can't bump or these older cats don't be having that old man strength or nothing like that, but it's just the simple point of fact. Like, man, he older. That win may not be good as Jake's. He might not as hit as hard as Jake and stuff like that. So it could very much go towards Jake Paul way. And also, I'm going to say if he do win, it's just because that's just how it was supposed to play out anyway. You know what I mean? But another thing I'm um, talking about the Mike Tyson and Jake Paul fight was at the weigh-in. I don't know how many of y'all like seeing the weigh-in. I didn't like see it myself, but I definitely looked at like some of the little videos or whatever like that that had happened. And if y'all don't know, Mike Tyson actually slapped Jake Paul during the little weigh-in. A lot of people saying that it's because of the way that he walked up to him because he made himself look like a monkey or a gorilla when he walked up to him and Mike Tyson looked at that as disrespectful and other people are saying he stepped on his shoe. Me personally, I think Mike just slapped his ass just because he wanted to slap him. I don't think Jake actually stepped on Mike's shoe and I don't really think he like walked up on him in like a disrespectful, racist kind of way. Now that just could be me being a complete and utter, you know what I'm saying, dumbass or whatever, but I I didn't take it like that, at least not from the little snippets that I seen of it or whatever like that. I think Mike just wanted to slap his ass just to, you know what I'm saying, get a little bit more hype towards the fight, get a little bit more stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? Just something to hype the fight up a little bit more, something to get a little bit more hypeness to it. You know what I'm saying? That's just all that was, man. Everybody saying this and that or whatever. I'm not saying that people is wrong for thinking what they think, but I don't think it's, it's either that or the other thing, man. I really just think it's just, he just wanted to slap his ass, to be honest, man. Sometimes you just want to slap a motherfucker and you find any small reason to do so but down in the comment section down below y'all let me know tyson or jake that's it man let me know who y'all rocking with on this i don't really care who wins i'm gonna go mike though just because i feel like you shouldn't bet against mike tyson but at the same time i ain't got no money on this so i don't really care y'all know me i really don't do the parlays and betting and gambles and all that type of stuff so i don't really i leave that to y'all professional people that know how to do that type of shit no cap it is a lot of enemies on this mission holy crap but another tidbit that i want to talk about is the simple point of fact man that y'all have been showing a lot of love and a lot of support on just the videos and stuff like that throughout the past couple of weeks and days and all that man and i definitely do appreciate y'all for that no cap man like i've been doing these little grinds and trying to get to 100 million dollars and all that stuff on my xbox character and just helping out with the 20 trillion dollar heist challenge where i can and man y'all have been going absolutely insane with just the amount of support the likes have been going crazy and all that type of stuff man i just want to give y'all y'all proper praises and all that type of stuff for just showing up and showing out man i don't know what switch got turned on as far as the live streams go even the videos over the past year i don't know what switch and hit but it's been a lot of love and support just been getting shown my way and i can't do nothing but thank y'all for that brother my voice is still freaking fried from all the streams and stuff that i've been doing man so if i sound a little funky for the people that you know strictly watch the videos that that's why, because I literally went on like a 10 day stream streak the past couple of days, man, just going brazy, just doing a bunch of different videos, not videos, but streams, just making a whole bunch of money and just having fun with GTA, man, just grinding and stuff. I really been doing a lot of PVPing over the
the past couple of months. So to sit back and kind of just do a little grinding, it's kind of refreshing in a way. I can't even lie to you, bro. All right, so gang, so now that we got all that out the way, let's get into the meat and potatoes of what this video is about. And it is the fact that everybody in the GTA community, well, not everybody, but a lot of people in the GTA community are literally about ready to crash out over GTA 6 trailer 2 or the next information of GTA 6 and don't get me wrong I completely understand my nigga I completely understand why y'all is feeling the way that y'all feeling why y'all ready for this goddamn trailer to drop just to get any type of information about GTA 6 at all and don't get me wrong I feel the exact same way but I'm gonna tell y'all this, man. Relax, bro. Rockstar says relax, man. It's literally on a shirt in this video game. No cap, man. Just relax, brother. Don't get me wrong. I definitely want to see GTA 6 trailer 2. At least sometime this year. I think this year will be a great time to see it. But everybody in this bad boy tripping, man. People riding this bad boy coming up with moon theories. Y'all is riding this bad boy talking about all type of stuff, bro. I seen a dude on Twitter so thirsty about, I guess, more GTA. GTA, true GTA 6 trailer news or whatever, that this man broke down the GTA 6 trailer talking about things you may not have seen in the GTA, or things you still missed in the, in the first trailer or whatever like this. And bro, the very first thing, it was like a little thread or whatever, and the very first thing this man brought up was fucking dust particles in the game that was surrounding Lucia's head or whatever like that. And I was in this bitch like, bro, ain't no fucking way we down this bad beasy about some damn information in GTA 6 right now. Like, there is no way we down this bad, bro. My boy is thirsty for the content. When I tell you my boy is thirsty for it, my boy is thirsty. Y'all be seeing like these little GTA 6 countdown pages and stuff like that, especially if you got Twitter. They may be here now on like Instagrams and TikToks and stuff like that, but man, people is ready to damn the crash out about GTA 6 trailer too, man. And it's like, bro, hear me out. The moon thing, if it's if it's an actual like thing, like if it got some type of ties to Rockstar announcing the damn trailer, then I apologize, bro. But I think that's some of the most craziest shit ever, bro. To literally sit here and say the moon has something to do with Rockstar Games announcing announcing some more GTA 6 information is crazy. Now, I know a lot of people like, the first time it actually happened. Man, the first time was a coincidence. I'm going to say it like that, bro, because for one, everybody and their mama was talking about it was going to come out in October. Then it did come out in October. Then it came out in November. Then it did come out in November, but we ended up getting the damn trailer in December. I think this, this is my personal take on it, man. If we do see a trailer too this year, the best time for them to do it would be either right before Oh! This upcoming December DLC come out or right after this upcoming DLC come out. I think Rockstar so head ass that for one, we could not see anything this year. Let's just go ahead and put that out right now. We can very much not see a trailer at the fuck all, my nigga. Like none, period. Point blank. Rockstar could say, fuck you, suck my dick. We ain't dropping shit. Y'all niggas gonna wait until we say so, bitch. That's just how Rockstar work. That's the type of niggas they is, bro. But I personally think that Rockstar could either wait till Christmas to drop it as some type of like GTA trailer something Christmas thing or they can wait to the very last day before the new year and drop it now again I'm whooping really whooping when I'm saying this but it's something that I can see them doing because if they do drop it right after Christmas or right before Christmas or whatever like that it'll be right after the DLC the DLC is scheduled to drop December 10th we all know this because of GTA Plus or whatever like that um, we always speculate Let's rock stop delay it or something. December 10th should be the day we get the December DLC. That just makes sense. You know what I mean? So we can either get it right after. I don't think we'll get it right before, even though getting it right before would be dope because they could pull the same thing that they did last year. That means we could get the DLC, we could get the trailer, it'll break up a whole bunch of hype around the GTA, everybody will come at the DLC, more money for Rockstar. That's what they could do. Or they could get the DLC, 
everybody be hyped about the DLC. And then, like I said, because everybody's so thirsty for a trailer too, people are still come to this DLC just looking for little shit that could even point to GTA 6 at all. You know what I mean? Because y'all fucking crazy. Y'all need fucking aluminum caps on your head 24 7, 7 days a week. You know what I mean? But they can do that. Drop the shit. Everybody be happy. We all hype. Everybody living it up, turned up, and all that other type of shit. Or, like I said, they can drop it during the uh the last day. It could be the very last day of the year. They drop that shit. We get the motherfucking trailer or whatever. Everybody who pod hurrah and we cool. But at the same time, it's Rockstar Games. They cannot give a shit. Tell everybody fuck you to their face. Announce the shit when they want to announce the shit at the same time. Because for one, Sam Hauser, I believe, he on some trolling shit. Let's just be real, man. Because last year, like I said, I said in like my last video, I believe I said in my last video on one of my streams where Sam Hauser himself basically said how he wanted to delay the actual trailer because Jason Schreier had announced it like a day or something before or whatever like that. He wanted to troll everybody and drop it like a week later, but he didn't end up doing that. So right now, he could very much be trolling us like, fuck it. Y'all got it. Y'all got it early. Y'all leaked my shit. All this other type of shit. So can't nobody get nothing. Won't nobody get nothing. And y'all just gonna wait a week. You know what I'm saying? But as of right now, all we know about GTA 6 is it's still slated for fall 2025, which is good. Which is good. I'm glad. Hopefully that stays. And that's pretty much it. We still got trailer one. But other than that, it's really nothing else that we can really say and or do to make Rockstar give us anything or something like that. Now, another theory that I do have, and this is stretching, reaching, crazy, my own type of crazy, if you want to say, is Rockstar will try to tie trailer two into this 20 trillion dollar little thing that they got going on, this little heist challenge or whatever. If we hit it, I feel like if we get this this trailer, I mean, this challenge done, the greater chances of us seeing a GTA 6 trailer two can happen. That's what I think. I'm not saying, that's not the thing that I'm going off of for show. I'm not going completely off that, but I do feel like it could be tied to this. Meaning if we don't hit the damn trillion dollar challenge, we won't get no goddamn information at all this year. But if we do hit the trillion dollar challenge, the higher chance of us hearing something goes up. Now I'm not saying just because we hit $20 trillion and we get this challenge done, that boom, we gonna fucking get the motherfucking trailer. Now that ain't what I'm saying, but I'm just saying it could very much mean that it's a higher chance chance of us getting this shit you know what i mean that's just how i think and that's just the vibes that i think is actually gonna make sense when it all said and done for real for real that's just how i feel man again i could be wronger than a motherfucker on that i don't know i'm not a motherfucking rockstar games fucking scientist or nothing like that all i can say is i have been right about uh, a couple of things, bro, when it come down to the trailers and just GTA things. Like, I'll hit a couple of things on the head by myself, just speculating and just knowing how Rockstar move and, and move and, and, you know, maneuver when they come down to, you know, their business practices or whatever. But that's just because I've been a fan of Rockstar for a long time and I've been watching they, you know, watching them work and operate and keeping up with their games for fucking years and years and years and years, though. So that's just me. And some of the stuff is just logical business sense that, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say I'm like, this big businessman type person, but even somebody with the very small amount of businesses that I do got could even pick up on and be like, yeah, that, that would make the most sense to do in a business sense. You know what I mean? So, Rockside, at the end of the day, they gonna do what they wanna do. We can't force a trailer two out of them, no matter how much we bitch, moan, and complain. It ain't gonna make them do it or nothing like that. I figured that we would all know that shit by now, my nigga, but it just seemed like people is just still just own it but another thing man relax bro y'all is really like stressing y'all brains out some of y'all niggas gonna go ball worrying about gta 6 the game will be here when the game be here and i'm not saying don't speculate don't enjoy yourself if you like deep diving and shit do what you do what you do just don't over whoop yourself man don't overwork yourself don't lose sleep over this shit don't lose your hair over this shit don't lose no pussy over this shit like bro my nigga they gonna do what they gonna do gang nigga i'm ready for the fucking game myself i know millions upon millions if not Probably a billion plus people is ready for this shit they damn self. It's it's hype, bro. It's GTA 6. It's gonna be the biggest fucking game ever to fucking drop ever in them in, in life. Some of y'all is gonna be y'all first Grand Theft Auto game releasing in your fucking life. And it's hype. But don't lose sleep. Don't lose your motherfucking mind to this shit, bro. Cause y'all is whooping, my nigga. Like overly. Y'all is wildin' folks. No cap G. But I get it though. It's GTA 6. 
what the hell can we do, man? No bullshit. But yeah, gang, that's all I really got to say on that. The only thing I can add to it is I do love the fact that all this type of stuff can bring the community together. Like, it's just dope to see, like, all these different things that's going on right now in GTA is just bringing everybody together, man. This heist challenge, everybody getting hyped for this DLC, everybody ready for GTA 6 trailer news, or just GTA 6 news in general. It's just dope, man. I really do enjoy all this community community wide stuff even though I think some of y'all ass is losing y'all marbles bro but at the end of the day Rockstar gonna do what they gonna do man just be patient like I said Rockstar says relax Rockstar say chill the fuck out they gonna drop it bro when they drop it bro and I definitely think when they drop it it's gonna be worthwhile we're gonna have a lot of fun with the damn game and it's gonna be amazing man but on the flip side game if y'all are interested man please come out and show love to all the different streams that I'm doing man when it come down to these heist challenges when it come down to, you know, my own personal Xbox challenge, I'm trying to make $100 million before we get to GTA 6, uh, not GTA 6, but GTA Online's next upcoming DLC. We're currently sitting there like $72 million, man. So we almost uh, uh, three-fourths of the way there, man. So we having fun with it, brody. I'm definitely enjoying myself. We just did Doomsday Act 3 double money yesterday over there on PlayStation. And we will be doing it again over here on Xbox come Monday afternoon, Monday night. Uh, when I stream again, man, but that's completely up to y'all. I know some of y'all only like to watch the videos and stuff like that, and hey, I appreciate y'all for supporting the videos, man, but I'm finna get ready to get on up out of here, man. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on this bad button right here, and if you are new, subscribe, man. I definitely wouldn't mind having you a part of the game. Definitely wouldn't mind seeing you in some comments, seeing you in some streams, engaging with you and stuff like that, man. I will be one of the best fastest growing channels when GTA 6 come out and you don't want to miss out on that game you want to be able to say you was here before we get to 10k you want to be able to say you was here before all the GTA 6 stuff go to going on man and all that type of shit man but anyway gang I do thank y'all for everything that y'all been doing all the love all the support I am pre very appreciative very humble very thankful man so with that being said y'all be easy to take care I'm about to edit this video Probably watch a little bit of that damn boxing match between Jake Paul, Mike Tyson, play some BO6, head to work later on, and enjoy the rest of my weekend as I can, man. And y'all do the same. Stay safe. Stay out the way. Remember, GTA 6 is closer than we all fucking think, so we gotta keep our heads strong, man. I love each and every last one of y'all, and I mean that shit. I'm gone, gang. Peace out.